In the last episode, I used Viper's setups and post plant lineups for three B sites in Valorant. So let's continue all that here. Hello people, here are my Viper setups and post plant lineups for three A sites in Valorant. The three A sites that we would be covering would be the exact same ones as the B sites in the last episode. So we'll be covering Ascent, Icebox, and Fracture. But before all that, I would like to thank everyone for helping me reach over 150 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. I also want to thank everybody in the comments of the last episode of this series. Everyone is super nice there. Thank you very much. And for those of you who are watching and still have yet to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Okay, that's it for the introduction. Enjoy the video. Okay, let's start it off with Ascent. At the start of the round, you want to go over to this green box into this corner right over here. From this corner, you want to take out your toxic screens and you want to look at your minimap. Now, in aligning this toxic screen, your goal is to cover the tree area the back of generator, and some part of rafters. Once all that's done, you fire your wall up. After that, you have to wait for the barrier to drop, and once it drops, you want to go to the center of this sewer cover thingy. Yes. yes. From this thingy, you want to look up into this corner that I'm specifying right here. It's very obvious. And now I want you to align the top right corner of your toxin bar right there on that corner that I specified. All you want to do now is give it a simple left click throw, and if we follow it, it's going to land right on top of dice. So if you put the two of them together, it's going to look something like this. So once you enter the site, heaven and hell would be smoked off because of the poison orb. The player playing in tree, if there is any, would be smoked off as well. Generator would be smoked off, and it would limit the angles that you need to check all at once. And this wouldn't be complete without the post plant lineup. So once the spike is planted, you can start running all the way to the default post-plant lineup spot, and that is that green box right over here. Stand in this corner, and from this corner, you want to look up to the tip of that building right over there. And you're going to fire it up. We follow the snake bite, it's going to take a bounce, and it will land right there at default plant. Pair that with your poison orb that was already there, and you basically have yourself an undefusable spike. Up next, we have the Viper setup for Icebox. So before the barriers drop, you want to go over into this corner right here by this entrance. From this corner, you want to look up to that corner that separates the top cream color and the bottom darker color, yeah. I don't know how to explain it very well, but you can see it over here. You're going to take out your orb, and you want to do a running throw. If we're going to follow this, it's going to land right there on rafters. After that, you just want to start running onto these boxes over here. You jump on top of them and then tuck yourself into this corner right here. So you're going to take out your wall and you're going to take a good look at your minimap. On your minimap, you want to make sure that your wall is able to cover both the back of sight and that entrance to rafters from the stairs at the back. Once you've done that, you want to cast your wall. Now you put both of these together and as you can see, you're going to be entering the site. The top and bottom of that angle that enemies like to hold is no longer available for them. The back of sight would be screened off. And even the entrance to rafters from the stairs at the back would be smoked off as well. And now for the post-plant lineup. So once the spike is planted, you can start running if you want, but I'd rather stay and help my team fight for a certain amount of time before I start running. But you basically want to run all the way back here to the edge of this wall right here. You want to align yourself to it and stand against it. From this wall, you're going to look up and you're going to notice a dark triangle shadow right there on that thing that I'm specifying right here. You're going to aim your crosshair right at the tip, right there. After that, you're going to take out your poison and you're just going to fire it up. It's going to take a bounce at the ceiling and land right there on the spike. Now for the final setup and that will be in Fracture. So before the round begins, you want to tuck yourself onto this corner right here by the zipline. You're going to take out your wall and you want to look at your minimap. The goal for this wall is to be able to cover some part of rope where enemies like to camp, along with the entrance of A-Link. Once that's done, you just want to fire up your wall. If you're going to look at this wall, it's going to be able to cover ropes and the entrance to site from A-Link right there, and it's going to be a really good wall for the enemies who would be rotating from B. Now in Fracture A site, there really isn't a good poison orb lineup that you can use, so I'd rather just put the poison orb right there on the spike. And now let's finish this off with a post-plant lineup. So once the spike is planted, you want to go over here to a drop, you just want to get up there, and you want to start making your way to dish. Over here, you're going to notice this line on the wall over there. You're going to stand against it like that. Now from this wall, you want to look over into sight, and you're going to notice that there's this metal bar thingy over there. I don't know how to describe it, but you can clearly see it. So you want to put your crosshair right at the center of that thing that I specified. You're going to take out your poison, and you're just going to fire it up. It's going to take a bounce off the wall and will land right there on default plant. 
pair that with your poison orb, and no one can defuse the spike. So before we end the video, I would like to thank everybody for all the support. We just hit 165 subscribers as of recording this video, so I would really like to thank all of you people. And for those of you who aren't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I post Valorant montages, guides, tips and tricks, setups like these, and lineups. And with all of your help, maybe we can hit 175 subscribers before the month ends, who knows. I also made a Twitch channel if you guys want to go check it out, twitch.tv slash jermacbutter. Other than Valorant, I also play other games like Sea of Thieves, Rocket League, and Phasmophobia, and any other game that I feel like playing over there. The link would be in the description. If you also want to see the Viper setups of the B sites of the same maps that I covered in this video, the link would be in the description or up there on that card. And to this person in the comments whose name I cannot pronounce, you'll get your setups eventually. Just give me a while. Oh yeah, and join my Discord, link in the description if you want to, you know, submit lineups, submit tips and tricks, I'd give you credits in the video, yeah, that kind of stuff. So that's about it, thanks for watching the video, yeah, bye bye